In the silent void beyond Earth, where light travels for ages before meeting an eye, something is stirring, something that shouldn't exist. The object known as Three-Eye Atlas, an interstellar wanderer from far beyond our solar system, has once again defied every scientific model. What began as a simple comet study has now turned into one of the most baffling cosmic investigations in NASA's history. And this time, even Harvard's most respected astrophysicists are demanding answers. Just 30 seconds in, if mysteries of the universe fascinate you, then subscribe to Zid Wisdom right now because what you're about to hear could change how we look at the cosmos forever. A team of researchers led by Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Avi Loeb detected a faint radio absorption signal, a signature that could only come from specific molecules, using the MIR-KAT radio telescope in South Africa. What they found were traces of hydroxyl molecules, OH, something usually seen when frozen surfaces of a comet start vaporizing under extreme heat. At first glance, it sounded simple enough, a comet releasing gas interacting with sunlight, but the problem was how it behaved. The signal wasn't emission, it was absorption. That means the molecules weren't glowing from heat, they were blocking light from behind, sitting between a cold gas cloud and a warmer radiation source. In simpler words, there was cold material in front of a heat source, something that shouldn't be possible in the comet's position and distance from the sun. When Loeb's team cross-checked the Doppler shift, the motion of the signal relative to Earth, the readings matched perfectly with 3i Atlas's speed and direction. This confirmed one thing beyond doubt, the signal was real and it came directly from Atlas itself. But that was only the beginning. The results stunned everyone. Around the object's glowing core stretched a halo spanning nearly half a million kilometers, and within it, seven distinct jets shooting outward in multiple directions. These weren't faint vapor streams or random puffs of dust. They were structured, persistent, and, most mysteriously, some were pointing toward the sun instead of away from it. Now, that defies everything we know about cometary physics. Jets on natural comets form as sunlight heats up the ice, ejecting gas and dust away from the sun. But Atlas seemed to be pushing both ways, as if it were stabilizing itself, maintaining balance or control. Option 1, Atlas is behaving like a highly active natural comet, with localized ice patches venting gas in strange directions due to uneven heating or complex spin. Option 2, those jets are not natural at all. They're propulsion thrusters, part of a technological system designed to maneuver intentionally. Loeb never claims one over the other. Instead, he repeats a simple principle. We must keep all possibilities open, including the technological one, until we have the full data. He's not calling it alien, he's calling it unknown and demanding transparency. A growing sense of frustration, but transparency, it seems, is harder to achieve than discovery itself. The highest resolution images of 3i Atlas, taken by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter on October 23, 2025, remain unreleased. According to internal reports, these photos could provide pixel resolutions near 30 meters, sharper than anything obtained from Earth or even Hubble. Yet, despite repeated scientific requests, and even a formal letter from Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna, Luna, NASA has not released them publicly. Why? No one knows for sure. A.V. Loeb has openly criticized this delay, arguing that withholding time-sensitive data harms science. He says every day lost means a chance missed to observe new changes as Atlas drifts farther from the sun and becomes fainter. He's not alone. Across Europe, Asia, and South America, scientists are joining the call, demanding open access to every bit of data. Because this object, this faint blue traveler, might be holding answers older than our own star. Sicken, US. The unanswered question, but here's where it gets truly puzzling. 3i Atlas is accelerating, moving faster than gravity should allow, yet no debris cloud large enough to cause that acceleration has been observed. According to basic physics, for an object to speed up through outgassing, the natural process where ice turns to vapor and pushes the comet forward, it would need to eject billions of tons of material. That would make a massive glowing cloud easily visible across the solar system. And yet, telescopes see nothing, not even a faint trace. So, what's pushing it? NASA's own orbital models show the same anomaly, a consistent, measurable non-gravitational acceleration. That means some other force, natural or not, is acting upon it. Could it be solar radiation pressure? Maybe. 
but that would require Atlas to be made of a highly reflective, ultra-thin material, almost like a solar sail. And if that's the case, then this object isn't a comet at all, it's something designed to travel using starlight itself. The WOW signal connection, adding another layer of intrigue. 3i Atlas entered our solar system from a region of space only 9 degrees away from the direction of the legendary 1977 WOW signal, the mysterious radio burst that to this day remains one of the most compelling possible signs of extraterrestrial technology ever recorded. Coincidence? Maybe. But Loeb and his team believe it's at least worth paying attention to. He's proposed a new plan. When Atlas passes within 53 million kilometers of Jupiter in March 2026, NASA's Juno spacecraft could aim its radio antenna toward it. By scanning frequencies between 50 Hz and 40 MHz, Juno might detect signals or emissions that Earth-based observatories can't pick up. It would be a rare opportunity, a once-in-a-lifetime chance to confirm whether Atlas is just reflecting light or transmitting something, science and silence. But inside the scientific community, the tone is changing. Some researchers caution against jumping to conclusions, saying it's still most likely a natural body. Others admit, reluctantly, that the data doesn't fit neatly anywhere. Meanwhile, NASA's public communications have slowed dramatically, partly due to the government shutdown, leaving independent researchers to share updates through unofficial channels. This vacuum of information has fueled even more speculation. What if the missing high-resolution images show something NASA isn't ready to explain? Something artificial? Something built? Dr. Loeb doesn't endorse conspiracy theories, but he does emphasize one haunting truth. Science only progresses when we look without fear. The Countdown to Jupiter The countdown to Jupiter as 3i Atlas moves farther from the Sun, its brightness continues to flicker, fading one moment, glowing stronger the next. By March 2026, it will reach its next major waypoint, Jupiter's orbital neighborhood. That's when the Juno mission will have the best chance to catch any radio fluctuations or magnetic signals. If nothing unusual is detected, the mystery may fade away like so many cosmic stories before it. But if Juno picks up even a whisper, a pattern, a pulse, a frequency, the world of science may never be the same again. And if you've made it this far, you're already part of this unfolding discovery. If you love unraveling space mysteries like 3i Atlas, from hidden signals to unexplained motion, then hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Zid Wisdom, because this story is far from over. In part two, we'll uncover the next phase of this investigation the new data from Juno, the International Observatory's findings, and the deeper implications of what might be the most extraordinary visitor in our solar system's history. Because maybe, just maybe, 3i Atlas isn't passing by us by chance. Maybe it came for a reason. When we left off, NASA and scientists around the world were waiting for the moment 3i Atlas would drift past Jupiter, a chance to uncover what truly drives this mysterious traveler from another star. But the story didn't calm down, it only got stranger. By the first week of February 2026, observatories in Spain, Chile, and Japan began reporting something unexpected. Atlas's brightness wasn't fading the way a normal comet's would after perihelion. Instead, it began to pulse, like a dim heartbeat in the dark, bright for a few hours, then dim again, repeating every 22 hours. At first, astronomers thought it was rotation. But the rhythm didn't match the spin patterns they'd calculated months earlier. It was slower, deliberate, and too precise. Harvard's Dr. Avi Loeb called it the most mathematically consistent anomaly he's ever seen in an interstellar object. If Atlas were natural, he said, its flicker would vary irregularly, not follow a clockwork cycle. Whatever was happening, it wasn't random. A pulse from the deep then came something that silenced the chatter. On February 18, 2026, the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia detected faint, low-frequency radio patterns, tiny bursts at 50 Hz intervals, the same frequency range Juno had been instructed to scan when Atlas approached Jupiter. And here's the shocking part. These bursts aligned with the very moment Atlas crossed behind Jupiter's magnetic field, as if something inside it reacted to the planet's environment. NASA didn't release a full statement. Just a line buried in an internal bulletin, anomalous radio variation recorded during Jupiter transit phase. Analysis ongoing. For scientists, that was as good as saying, we found something, but we're not ready to talk about it yet. 
30 seconds in, if you're watching this and you love real cosmic mysteries, subscribe to Zid Wisdom right now. Because what you're about to hear next, the Juno encounter on March 16th, 2026, as predicted, 3i Atlas passed within 53 million kilometers of Jupiter, close enough for the Juno spacecraft to activate its dipole antenna array. For six straight hours, it listened. And what it picked up was chilling. A series of faint, rhythmic pulses. Not random static, not solar noise, but clean, repeating intervals that matched the same 22-hour cycle observed from Earth. Each pulse began with a quick rise in amplitude, followed by a perfect decay curve, a pattern unseen in natural cosmic emissions. Now, NASA's official explanation is magnetic interference caused by Jupiter's magnetosphere. But radio engineers disagree. That pattern wasn't consistent with interference. It was structured. Think about that. A deep space object older than the sun, pulsing every 22 hours, its light and radio waves moving in sync across millions of miles. Data. No further Juno data was made public. NASA cited operational data review, a vague term often used when information is being filtered or validated, but insiders leaked something else. Sources from the Goddard Space Flight Center revealed that some Juno telemetry packets, particularly those collected near Atlas's closest approach, were labeled restricted distribution. Whoa! Extremely rare, even Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna, who'd earlier pushed for transparency, received only partial data. In a closed-door statement, she called the situation a textbook example of scientific gatekeeping. At the same time, China's Tianwen Mars Orbiter published its own images of 3i Atlas from October and November 2025, showing a symmetrical, blue-glowing sphere with faint plumes. No tail, no dust, no fragmentation. When asked why NASA's similar images weren't released, a spokesperson simply said, the review process takes time, but time was running out. The acceleration problem. By mid-March, orbital models confirmed something unprecedented. Atlas's speed, after moving away from the sun, should have decreased naturally. Instead, it stabilized at roughly 2043,000 kilometers per hour, showing no sign of deceleration. This means one of two things, either Atlas has an internal energy source maintaining its velocity, or it's riding some kind of cosmic current, a force we don't yet understand. Dr. Loeb compared the data with models from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The numbers didn't lie. Gravitational influence alone couldn't explain it. We're watching an object that behaves like it knows what it's doing, he said. It adjusts, compensates, and reacts, like it's alive or built to appear alive. NASA scientists urged caution, insisting Atlas was still likely a comet with unique material properties. But independent researchers, from Harvard to the European Space Agency, began to voice a new theory that Atlas could be an ancient probe, a dormant mechanism from another civilization, activated only when it sensed the heat of a nearby star. A relic, drifting through interstellar space for billions of years, waiting for the right kind of light to wake it up. Imagine that, something built before our planet even existed, reawakening as it passed near our sun. A global response. Over 200 observatories were now tracking Atlas across multiple wavelengths, optical, infrared, and radio. The combined data revealed another stunning clue. As Atlas moved farther from the sun, its color shifted again, from bright blue back to deep red, mirroring the transition it displayed months earlier, but in reverse. That meant the object wasn't cooling like an ordinary comet. It was cycling. Some form of internal process was balancing its temperature, an act that required control, not chaos. The silent light. The silent light in May, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward Atlas once again. Using its near-infrared spectrometer, Webb detected faint emissions consistent with ionized hydrogen, but they appeared and vanished in perfect intervals every 22 hours, just like before. Scientists called it a coincidence. Loeb didn't. He called it a language, a cosmic rhythm waiting to be decoded. If we ignore patterns simply because they don't fit our equations, he said, then we risk missing the message the universe is sending. They just didn't have answers. Even the Pentagon's Anomaly Resolution Office issued a quiet clarification. 3i Atlas remains fully identified and non-threatening. No defensive response required. 
Yet buried within the same document was a single cryptic note. Telemetry indicates controlled rotational stabilization pattern. Controlled, not random, controlled. If you're still watching, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Zid Wisdom, because this story is far from over. We're only beginning to understand what we're really seeing out there. The final phase. By June 2026, 3i Atlas had moved beyond Mars's orbit, slowly fading from visibility. Its halo dimmed, its radio pulses weakened, but never disappeared completely. Even as it receded into the dark, that faint 22-hour rhythm continued, like a heartbeat echoing across the void. Dr. Loeb's final report described it as a controlled fading, not random dimming. He proposed one final mission to send a small solar sail probe to follow Atlas before it escapes the solar system for good. The cost would be massive, the timing critical, but it could be humanity's only chance to study an interstellar object in motion. NASA hasn't approved it, not yet. What if, what if 3i Atlas isn't a rock or a relic, but a record, a data vault moving through space, storing information from civilizations long gone? What if the periodic pulses aren't communication, but calibration, a cosmic heartbeat marking its endless journey from one star to the next? Or maybe it's something simpler, the universe's way of reminding us that we are not the first to wonder, not the only ones to look up. The Last Glimpse On August 14, 2026, the European Space Agency's Herschel Observatory recorded the final image of 3i Atlas, a dim blue speck one last flash before vanishing into the black sea of interstellar night. That image will go down in history, not because it proved aliens, but because it proved something even more powerful, that we still don't know what's out there. As of today, 3i Atlas continues its endless journey, a traveler between worlds carrying secrets humanity may never fully decode. But maybe that's the point. Maybe some answers aren't meant to be solved, only witnessed. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember this, a silent object once passed our sun, glowing brighter than it should, moving faster than it could, and vanishing before we could explain it. Maybe it was a comet, maybe a probe, or maybe, just maybe, it was a reminder that the universe still has questions left for us to ask. If this story left you curious, hit that like button, drop a comment below. Do you think 3i Atlas is a natural traveler or something made by intelligence beyond us? And don't forget to subscribe to Zid Wisdom, where science meets mystery and every truth hides a shadow, because the stars are still watching.